What's up everyone, this is Rafael from iFix Logic Boards and today I'm working on an iPhone 6s that had one of those uh, fans plugged in and after that the phone died, it does not turn on and uh, does not accept charge. A lot of people on, on Amazon especially, you're gonna see reviews saying that once they plug it in, it kills the phone. They, you know, a lot of people don't back up so they lose their data. Uh, when you plug it in, the uh, amp meter shows zero amps so let's see what's going on. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be U2. Um, so let's open it up and try it out. All right, let's open this puppy very quickly. First thing you always wanna do when you're opening an iPhone, you want to unplug the battery before you unplug the screen because even though the phone is turned off, there's always power going to the LCD connector and that's how you damage your backlight. So now what I'm gonna do is remove the bottom sticker, use some heat. And right underneath this bracket, there's a U2 chip, it's called TriStar. And this one is responsible for uh, managing where the power goes, um, charge the battery and all that. So we're going to replace that since most likely this chip, this chip is very delicate. Uh, if you use uh, unbranded Apple chargers, that's how you usually kill the uh, TriStar. You use your car charger that likes to kill the TriStar. So uh, any accessories that are funky like that, they're gonna kill it. So where's my mouth? All right, so here's the U2. Now we're gonna replace it. Just put some flux. Move it like this. You can see my hand is shaking a little bit because I had too much coffee today. Come on. It should just flow off. Now we're going to clean the pads. Fix my microscope a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, um, well, no, it's clean. I slightly messed up. One pad lifted, so I had to run a tiny, tiny jumper wire here. Uh, so that'll be fine. Uh, and this was a TriStar 2 PMU host reset, so it's pretty important. It goes straight to the power supply, so PMIC. So I run a jumper there. Let's put a new chip and solder it down. So I'm going to apply a little bit of flux. I like to put it under the angle so I can see if it aligns with the pads. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good. So I just set it up, I think it's good. Let's refold it in. Yep, at this point, I'm happy. Let it cool. Fortunately, this is pretty unexpected when you plug this fan and it kills your phone. Let's see how we're looking here. Yeah, that looks great. Let me clean it a little bit. Let's fire it up. So I'm going to plug the battery and plug the charger in. We 
are getting 0 0.11, 0 0.2. What do you see? It's charging the dead battery, which is a good sign. But let's let it charge. Hope it will boot up. Okay. Looks like it finally boot up. That's a passcode. It's a 4% and it's draining 1.2 amp. Uh, it's going up 5% right now. So the phone boot up, data is recovered. So we're gonna plug this into a char um, computer, sync it. I'll let it charge and this phone should work just fine. Um, <clears throat> You just need to remember that iPhones are very uh, delicate when it comes to our aftermarket chargers, you know, like gas station chargers, uh, cables that don't have the actual Apple chips inside to prevent the from the overcharge, and accessories like those fans are not really working in your favor. So, if you have this issue, visit ifixlogicboards.com. I hope this video was helpful for you, and uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll catch you later in the next video.